All right, hey, welcome back. We just got done buffing the final buff on this. And Jeff is getting ready to wipe this down and get it ready for paint. Yeah. Like you said, we just got finished buffing it, so what I'm gonna do is wipe it down with cornstarch and a cotton rag and glove. Make sure we remove all the triply compound that might be in the surface. So when we ship it off to the paint department, they're not gonna have any issue with um, adhering to the surface of our metal here. All right, yeah, so while he's stripping that, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you the process that we ended up using. Now we used mainly this triply compound because there wasn't that much aggressive scratching in the surface of this fire extinguisher. Typically I would use a different to start, but because this one was so well taken care of for the last, ooh, I don't know, 60, 70 years, it was pretty uh, a quick job. It only took about an hour and a half for us to do the, all the cleaning. We started off with this very stiff red one. This is some hardcore stuff. This actually went through a fire before it got to me, but uh, we uh, applied the triply, and I used this in about uh, four buffs across so we could get a nice even band all the way across. It was kind of like a buttering corn. Just put on triply and bring it across, bring it across, bring it across. Once that was done a few times, I went around about three times with that to make sure I was all cleaned up. I touched it up and used this slightly less stiff buff. Applying triply once again. I ended up going around another three times, getting passes and trying to cut into, could you show the um, stem part? The uh, tricky part was getting around into the stem. And with this mushy buff, it cuts in there really nice and uh, kind of tucks its way into all these corners and crevices. Again, using just tripling. And then for the very final, we ended up using this mush buff, which if you don't exactly know how to use a mush buff, you better uh, practice on something else before you go ahead and uh, use it on your uh, baby. Because uh, this thing, once it catches on a little spot, could uh, go ahead and take the rest of your part with it. So, mush buff finally with AAA. That's how we knocked that out. As you saw before in the other clip, we took this to cabinet blast it to bring it to what the customer wanted, and we left that gasket completely untouched by taping it off and then sealing it up. Now, so has a nice luster on there from uh, keeping this. What I usually do when I run these is I keep the handle on until very last because it's a fantastic way to keep a good even grip when I'm going across the buffs. Um, nicely blasted, this is a beautiful copper lid. And the remaining body of this is all brass with um, a uh, secure, security tab or to hang up on the wall that was um, just uh, plated uh, steel. So, um, and you can see the way I'm actually wiping it down. I'm not going against his buff pattern because we don't want to create any more scratches just in case there might be a grain or two of dirt or sand or whatever. Yeah. So we're going to go with the buff. That way um, it keeps that nice, even polish. All right, sweet. So, hey Jonathan, what are we gonna buff next? That's a good question. Well, the end of the year is coming and there's a lot of uncertainty surrounding it, so I thought maybe we could buff a Mayan calendar. If we make it that far. If we make it. Looks like we got a lot of work ahead of us. Hopefully we can do it in time. Mm -hmm. I guess the only question after this is, will it buff? <laughs>